Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. So in the previous few videos, we went over adding score for Mega Man and adding the game over state. Now in this video, we're going to implement animations for our game. So currently, if I save and run the program, you can see we have a score over here. And if Mega Man walks to the right, you can see there's no animations and Mega Man is basically just sliding around. Okay. So for the animations, I drew some more pixel art for the game. So if you go to the GitHub repository, you'll find all the images that we'll be using for this animation tutorial. So if I scroll down, you can see we have some walking animations. So we have walking to the left, and we also have shooting while walking to the left, and then we have walking to the right, and shooting while walking to the right. So in total, we have two directions, and for two directions, we have two actions. So left and right, walking, and walking and shooting. So we have 16 images that we need to load. So let's go ahead and load the images, but before we do so, I want to explain how animation works. So basically, for Mega Man Walking, we have four images, and you can see they're named Mega Man Right Walk with a number at the end. This is the index, so 0, 1, 2, 3 and they will correspond to their index position in the Python list that we're going to put the images in. So these four images together make up the animation of Mega Man walking. And within each image, we're going to add a delay of 250 milliseconds, which is one quarter of a second. So how do we implement this? Well, basically we need an index pointer. So this is going to be a variable and currently this index is going to point to zero. So it's going to refer to this image. And then after 250 milliseconds, we're going to bump up the pointer by one. So now the index is going to point over here. And then after another 250 milliseconds, it's going to point over here and then here. And then afterwards, it needs to go back to zero because we don't have Mega Man right walk four. Instead, we need to go back to Mega Man right walk zero. So to do that, we just take the modulus. So it would just be index mod the length of the list. So in this case, it'll be four. So the index sequence will be 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So this is pretty much the high level understanding of how the animation works. Now let's actually implement this in code so you can understand better. And for that, we need to load the images. Now again, we have two actions, walking and walking and shooting, and we have two directions, so left and right. And so together we have four different animations we need to load. Therefore, we're going to have four separate lists to keep track of all these images. Now for the walking frames, the width is going to be 240 pixels and the height is going to be 240 pixels. But for walking and shooting, the width is 310 pixels, but the height is the same. So 240 pixels, okay? So we're going to scale it appropriately and let's create some width and height variables. So over here, I'm going to add player walk width and this is going to be 48 pixels. Player walk height. This is also going to be 48 pixels. And we have player walk shoot width. This is going to be 62 pixels. So for walking and walking and shooting, the height is going to be the same, okay? All right, now let's load the images. So here you can see we have all of our images. And in this case, since we need four images per animation, I'm going to store all the images in a list. And when you're working with lists, you can use for loops. So here I will do player image walk right. And I'm going to create a list and I'll use list comprehension. So I'm going to call load image on f string. So f string allows us to create a string and inject a variable value inside the string. Therefore, you don't need to use string concatenation and you won't need to convert the index number to a string. So for the file name, I'm going to do Mega Man dash write dash walk. And remember, there is a number at the end and this is for the index. So here I'm going to use curly braces and in here I'm going to pass in I. Afterwards, let's do .png for the file extension, and then I'll do for i in range 4. So basically, we're going to call load image for i in range 4, meaning it's going to go from 0 to 4, but not including 4. Now remember, this load image requires a tuple of width and height. So here, I need to add that tuple. 
So let's put this on the next line so you can see the entire line. And over here, the width is going to be player walk width and the height is going to be player walk height. Okay, so basically we're going to call load image four times and place them inside the list. So this is done using Python's list comprehension syntax. So it's the same as doing for I in range four, list.append load image, and then we pass in the parameters for the width and height. And yeah, basically we need to repeat this for walking left. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over here. And this is going to be walk left. And the image name is going to be Mega Man dash left dash walk. All right, now let's do the same for walking and shooting. So I'm just going to copy and paste this over here. And the variable name will be player image walk underscore shoot underscore right. And the file name is going to be Mega Man dash right dash walk dash shoot. And the width is going to be player walk shoot width. And let's copy and paste this. So here I'm going to change this to left. And for the image name, this is going to be left. All right, so we should have loaded all the images. And just to be sure, let's save and run the program. And if Pygame cannot find the image file, it's going to give us an error. So let's save and run the program to check. All right, so we have no errors. So that means Pygame was able to find all of those images. All right, so we have the images loaded. Now the next thing we need to do is actually draw those images. But before we can do so, we need to distinguish when Mega Man is walking. And for that, I'm going to add a walking field in the player class. So let's scroll down. And over here, I'm going to add self.walking. And I'm going to set this to false. So in the beginning, Mega Man is not walking and Mega Man is not jumping either. Okay, so when do we flip walking to true? Well, Mega Man is walking when we press the left or right arrow keys. So let's go to our game loop where we handle key inputs. And over here, you can see we have left and right. So here I'm going to make a check. If, and over here, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, so we press on the left arrow key or the A key. Or over here, let's copy and paste this the right key or the D key. So it's one of these four keys that will either move Mega Man left or right. Then I'm going to set player dot walking to true. Else, if we don't press on any of these keys, that means Mega Man is not walking. So we set it to false. All right, so we can control this Boolean. And now let's go back to where we update the Mega Man image based on this Boolean value for walking. So let's go back up to our player class. And over here we have our walking field and update image function. And over here, I'm just going to add another field to keep track of the current index for the current image in this animation. So here I'll do self dot current walk index. And I'm going to set this to zero. And with animations, we have intervals between frames. So we need to keep track of the amount of time that has passed in order to determine whether we should update to the next frame. So here I'm going to create another field, self dot last updated walk index. And this is going to be pygame dot time dot get ticks. So if you remember from when we implemented Matala's firing bullets, this function basically creates a counter. So it starts from the moment we initialize Pygame. So this is the number of milliseconds that have passed since we initialized Pygame. And so every time you get call ticks, you get the current number of milliseconds that have passed. So we're going to use this to switch between images using the index. So let's go down here first and create another function called update walking animation. And here we're going to get the current time that has elapsed since we initialized the Pygame. So here I'll do now and set it to pygame.time.getTicks. And here we do the math. If now minus self.lastUpdatedWalkIndex is greater than 250 milliseconds, 
That means the difference between now and the last time we updated the index value is greater than 250 milliseconds. So this means 250 milliseconds have passed since we last updated the index. In which case, I will do self.last updated walk index and I'll set it to now. So the current time is going to be the last time we updated the index value and let's actually update the index. So here I'll do self.currentWalkIndex is equal to self.currentWalkIndex plus one but we need to circle around. If we pass three, we have four and there's no index four for the image. So here we need to do mod length of, and in this case, I can use any of the lists. So I'll do player underscore image walk right. So the length will be four for any of those lists. And now let's go to our update image function. So over here, I'm going to make a check, just like how we check for jumping and shooting, or just shooting, or just jumping. We're going to check for walking. So if self.walking, and we need to make sure that we are also not jumping. Since we can't walk on air, I'll do if self.walking and not self.jumping. And the reason why we need to make this check is because when you press on the left or right arrow keys to move Mega Man, you can also move Mega Man while Mega Man is jumping. So we only want the walking animation if Mega Man is on the ground. All right, so if self.walking and not self.jumping, and over here, I'm going to put else. So I'm going to indent all this. So this means that for these conditions, we are not walking. And here I'm going to add self dot current walk index and I'll set it to zero. So this is going to be if we suddenly stop walking, then I'm going to reset it back to zero. Zero is the starting animation for walking. So if we press on the arrow key to move Mega Man and we suddenly stop on let's say frame three, we don't want to restart at frame three the next time Mega Man walks. We should go back to frame zero. All right, so over here, we're going to check if self.shooting. So if self.direction is equal to right, then we'll set self.image to player image walk shoot right. And here I'll do self.currentWalkIndex. Elif self.direction is equal to left and I'm just going to copy and paste this and change this to shoot left. Else, we are just walking. So we are not shooting and walking at the same time. So here we'll do if self.direction is equal to right. Self.image is player image walk right. And we pass in the index. So self.current walk index and Let's do elif self.direction is equal to left. And I'm just going to copy and paste this over here and change this to left. All right, so we're checking to see if we're walking and not jumping. If that is the case, then we're walking on the ground and then we need to check to see if we're shooting as well. If so, we're going to use the walking and shooting image. Else, we're just going to use the walking image. Now we need to update the animation. So at the end, I'm going to call self dot update walking animation. So we're constantly calling update image and within update image, we're going to constantly check to see if we need to update the walking animation to point to the next frame. All right, let's save and run the program. All right, so we have Mega Man and I'm going to press the right arrow key to walk to the right. And you can see Mega Man is walking. I can walk left, right, jump and shoot. Come on, there you go. And I can walk right, left, and I can also walk and shoot at the same time. Okay, but I cannot walk and jump at the same time. So if I try to walk and then jump, you can see we are just jumping. Now let's try to finish this game with the animations. So let's jump over the spikes. Okay. Oh, all 
All right. Well, guess we lost that healing item. Now let's continue walking to the right. Okay. There are quite a lot of monsters. All right, so we made it to the end. Okay. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to move on to the next level when you make it to the end of the current level. All right, so that's it for this video. We have walking animations and shooting and walking animations. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And as always, if you want to stay up to date for more Python game programming tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.